We spoke in our previous video about where to save cash when buying new mountain bike products. As important to value for money are those products that you want to spend a little bit more generously on. Going too cheap on certain components can be significantly detrimental to your bike's performance. These are those products where that extra added cost really improves your riding experience and the performance that you get out of your bike. Of course, there will always be those really expensive options, and if you'd like those and can afford them, then that's great. But for our budget spender, we're not here advocating that you go all out on the following products, but rather you consider spending that extra bit for the added value. Looking at the brakes, you don't want to be spending over the top here, but looking at those mid-tier models is where you want to be. Something like a Shimano SLX or XT, or the SRAM R and RS models. For a trail rider, you definitely want four piston brakes, and brake rotors that aren't any smaller than 180 millimeters. Going for these mid-tier models will mean that you don't get the tool-free adjustments from the top-level models, which isn't a big problem, but you're going to get a brake that performs powerfully and consistently. You definitely can go for a second-hand option, but just make sure that nothing is seized up or bent. When it comes to buying grips for your mountain bike, find what suits your preferences and don't compromise there. We spoke a little bit about choosing grips for your bike in our recent video on contact points. You definitely want to look for a softer compound and lock-on style grips. Second-hand isn't the best idea here because they're such a high wear item. Mountain bike tires are expensive, but the performance you get out of a decent set of tires really is non-negotiable. Look for a good casing for your weight and riding style and chat to your bike shop about tread and compound options. Try compromising a little bit on rolling efficiency for something with added traction, just to experience what that might be like for your riding. You don't want to go secondhand on tires, but maybe consider rotating your front tire to the back when you get a new front tire. Also be sure to set your tire pressure up optimally to maximize your performance. We spoke a little bit about that in the video linked above. When buying tools that you're going to be using to work on your mountain bike, you don't need to go super fancy, but buying a good quality set will mean that they last longer and are less likely to damage your bike when you're working on it. Second hand is a good way to go, provided they are in good condition and high quality. For most riders, when it comes to suspension, those mid-tier models are going to give you ample performance. That is the Select Plus models when you're looking at RockShox and those performance models when you're looking at Fox. A brand like Marizaki will also offer really good value for money when it comes to suspension. You can also go second hand with suspension, but try not to look for anything more than one or two seasons old. Obviously check if it is in good condition and make sure that the hub spacing and travel is appropriate for your bike. When it comes to getting wheels for your bike, you want to be a little bit cautious. You don't want anything too weak, so look at a reputable brand and be willing to spend a little bit extra for a strong set. That being said, you also might want to take a few grams in exchange for a more affordable price. You can go secondhand with wheels, just ensure that there aren't any cracks in the wheels and that the bearings are running smooth in those hubs. Also make sure the hubs are the right spacing for your bike and the wheel is of course the right size. Between these two videos, you should have some good direction now on where to spend on your bike if you're on a tighter budget. If you can afford those top-notch components and you want them, then by all means enjoy them. But if they're not in your price range, don't let that put you off. Work with what you've got, spend wisely, and of course, just have a good time out on your bike because at the end of the day, that is what it's all about. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, like and subscribe, and have a good time out on the trails. Rather that you consider spending that extra bit more. <laughs> for the added value. No ways. No ways. Jana, are you just waiting for that? <laughs>